Hey guys, Simon Lovell here, founder of Fitpreneurs, and I'm super excited today because I get to wind back the clock and tell you about the lunchbox diet and more importantly about high performance and really about you going online. You know, when this was published um, back in 2009 by HarperCollins, uh, I never really thought that uh, that journey would happen. And, you know, I've qualified as a personal trainer. I certified as a trainer back in 2005. But it was a good few years before actually things started to move forward and this book got published. There's so many lessons in it. You know, I was working as a trainer in Exeter in the UK. I'm now based in San Diego. But I was training my clients. And, you know, because I had clients all the time, I never had a problem with getting clients. I had clients back to back. And so what I used to do and what some of the other trainers used to do was fill this lunchbox full of healthy food. And so that I could get my client warming up on the rower or on the treadmill. And then I was able to, uh, to um, go and snack from my lunchbox, which is basically vegetables, uh, lean protein and, you know, a dressing, maybe some carbs too. And it would keep my energy up and, you know, my weight down. It would really just help my performance. And so after a while, my clients came to me and said, Simon, we're doing great things on the fitness side, but do you have a diet or do you have a nutrition plan? And of course, like most personal trainers, I gave that, you know, food diary to my clients. I was a basic, you know, nutritional advisor, but I just had something that worked for me. So I gave it to my clients. It was a three page document. Okay. It was a three page document that I gave to my clients and they came back after about a month, six weeks. And they said, Simon, I don't only look great, I feel fantastic, my, my skin is cleared up, my energy's high, and I don't feel like I'm on a diet. And something clicked within me. I knew that I was onto something. And so then I started to get those case studies and I would approach the local newspaper. And one of my clients clear, cleared up her eczema because of this uh, kind of diet that I put together. But there was no name behind it. It was just an idea in my head that I, was, I gave to my clients. And so then something happened, which was this started to happen more consistently. And so I noticed a pattern and I said to myself, I need to do something with this. And so many times in business, we come up with these ideas, but we don't do anything with them. And so I created the lunchbox diet and I turned the three pages into 13 pages. And then I got a phone call and it was from a reviewer on Elle magazine. Her name was Sophie. And she said, Simon, I want to review your ebook. And of course, I was scared because this wasn't a published book right now. This was a 13 page ebook. And I put it uh, onto my website. It was £4.95 when I was back in the UK. And, uh, you know, she picked up on it. The review came out and they said, this is the best diet we've ever done. Five out of five stars. And then what happened was I got approached by publishing companies. And to cut a long story short, I signed a £120,000 book deal about... uh, about 150, 160, or maybe even more, thousand dollars. You can do the conversion on Google. Um, and, uh, you know, this was a massive shift for me. I just signed a six figure book deal, you know? And then what happened is I started to learn internet marketing. I learned, I started to learn about the whole online business side of things. And I built a digital product suite. But do you know what the interesting thing was? It was during the process of this book being released was that, I didn't even have the confidence to sell coaching with me despite having a published book for even a hundred pounds. Now I have clients within the programs that are within Fitpreneurs charging thousands and thousands. But the reason was, was because I didn't believe in myself. Yes, I had gotten this book deal and that was fantastic. But really when it came to my own services, I really, when it, come to the, when it came to the online space, while I was selling in-person personal training for a normal price and a normal hourly price and a block price back then, just my, my, like most people, when it came to the online side of things and what I perceived as what I could charge, it was always rock bottom, you know? And now, of course, things are radically different. And my clients, you know, sell online for $1,000, $2,000 more for their online nutrition, their online uh, fitness businesses. But it really came from that, from that self-worth. And throughout the journey, throughout Fitpreneurs, you know, I worked with a client called Anna Marsh and she put together an amazing business 
which has now done nearly quarter, uh, over a quarter of a million, nearly half a million dollars since she started it and she put together a really fantastic formula and we actually put together a really cool training that you can watch just by uh, clicking the link below in just a moment but this is what I want to talk to you about in this little training which is a couple of things first of all is about positioning now while uh, I got a book deal it's actually very rare because of the process that you have to go through to get a book deal with a published with a publishing house. I'm not saying that you can't do it. I'm saying that it's a big barrier entry to a lot of people because they have to go through an agent. They have to go through lots of different things. And so these days you can self-publish, but this is what I'm going to say to you, which is you need to have a business model on the back end. It's one thing doing meal plans for people. It's one thing doing online training and, and working with people um, to, to go back and forth, you know, reviewing their meals and, and looking at what they're doing uh, online when it comes to fitness. But if you really want to start to grow an online business, that means you're going to have to implement systems, your sales process. Okay, you're going to need to implement um, different systems, which, which I can actually write on this board. Okay, so if we look at an online system, what are some of the things we need? Well, we need like lead generation. Okay, how are you going to generate leads online? Number two, I don't know if you can see this, hopefully you can. Uh, number two, which is like a sales system. Because if you generate leads and then you get people on the phone, what's the process to enroll them? Not just at a price, but at the correct investment, which is not going to cause you stress. And actually, you can work with fewer clients that are paying you more, which is really, really key. Then you've got, obviously, the service delivery. Okay, eradicating one-to-one. -one. When you have a proper online business, what you're gonna have is a leverage system where you can train people in groups. Yes, maybe you're doing some one-to-one -one initially, but you actually step back from that and then you can actually bring in a team to help you. Okay, so most people feel like they need to be doing all of this one-to-one -one online when the truth is if you pick the right niche, if you set up the correct systems and you have the right processes in place, you can actually significantly scale your business to the bigger numbers, way beyond 10,000 a month, okay, if you have the right systems in place, okay? But you've got, that, you've got to have that service delivery. You've got to be onboarding clients correctly. You've got to be looking at how you deliver that service and how they get results, okay? So a lot of people jump into the online space and they start you know, generating a couple of clients, but the problem is, is the more clients you take on, the less freedom you have. The goal when scaling a business is to make sure that yes, you're working, but you're working smart and you set your business up correctly so that you can actually start to step away more and then work on the business, not in the business, a phrase that I'm sure you've heard so many times uh, before. So some of the key systems are the lead generation system, the sales system, the service delivery system, okay? And then you're gonna start to tweak and operate these. Now, of course, when you do something new for the first time, it's always gonna be a stress. And anything, anytime you do something, it's also gonna open up another challenge. For example, if you're selling right now in your business all of the time, then the next big step for you is to get someone to sell for you. Now, but if you bring on someone to sell for you, that's gonna open up other challenges, which is managing that, that team of salespeople, for example. So understand that all the time, there's always things moving in the business, all right? Now, the perception is online, is that it's gonna be easy, okay? There's gonna be loads of people, but truth is, you've gotta dial in your messaging, you've gotta dial in your branding, you've gotta dial in your positioning, because otherwise, all of this within the system beyond it is not gonna work efficiently. Okay, now in this training that I've put together with Anna, we're going to be covering these multiple, in fact, there's about seven of these key secrets that are going to help you really see how you can take a, an online business with your skills to the bigger financial numbers so that you can have freedom. Because I know that most likely you're watching this and you're thinking, do you know what? I've got a skill set but I'm not maximizing that skill set. There's a massive opportunity out there, but how do I actually put myself out there and overcome those fears? And you know, there's more and more people going into this space now. 
It's a significant amount of people going into the online space as personal trainers, as nutritionists. So my job is to help you get the edge and become a high performer with some of those strategies. So you want to check out this training, click the link below, and let's move you forward so that we can really maximize the skills and the investment that you've made in yourself to be able to help more people all around the world so that more people can say, hey, you changed my life. This is Simon Lovell, author of The Lunchbox Diet and the new encyclopedia of modern fitness business building. I'll see you very soon. Take it easy.